There are a number of different assessment methods which you will become more familiar with when you become a fully qualified assessor. In terms of the, the Carver qualification, we have two strands of assessments. We have vocational and we also have workplace as well. Vocational assessments are where you are developing uh, your learner's understanding and also knowledge of a particular subject, whereas workplace is all about observing uh, the candidate within their live working role. So can they perform day-to-day -day duties, usually in the presence of fellow customers, uh, clients, and also colleagues for that matter as well. Behind me, we have a range of different vocational uh, assessments here, such as assignments, case studies, and also discussions. And we also have a workplace as well. For example, um, observations, uh, peer assessments, and also uh, self-assessments as well are very much key uh, practical workplace assessments. Just a couple of pointers here with your vocational and also workplace assessments. For your four uh, vocational assessments, you need to include a minimum of three different vocational uh, assessment methods over the four vocational assessments, okay? So we're looking for a minimum of three uh, different methods, okay, over the course of your four uh, assessments. When you come on to your workplace assessments, each workplace assessment must contain uh, an observation, okay, so an observation report where you are uh, seeing the, the candidate within their, their working role, okay. We also need to see our products of work as well. So this could be anything that the, the candidate produces. So it could be perhaps a risk assessment that the candidate fills out. It could be a session plan, okay. It could be a tick list as well. And finally, we are also looking for evidence of verbal and also written questions. So after the observation, we think it's uh, very beneficial for you to sit down uh, with the candidate and ask them some supporting questions, okay, to do with their assessment, okay? And that can be recorded uh, by you onto your uh, assessment template. So think about four or five uh, key assessment questions there. So do have a look in the textbook as well on page 37 to give you lots of ideas uh, when coming up with uh, your assessments. So we're about to have a look uh, at uh, the different careers uh, within assessing and give you lots of ideas for your upcoming assessments.